I'm standing in a long queue to the glorious landmark of India, the official gateway of India in Mumbai. I'm exploring a bit of Indian history in my one day here. It's so wonderful looking at the queue and flabbergasted. I can't wait to set my eyes on the world famous monument closer. All these people are waiting to see the magnificent arch of India. This arch is quite similar to what was in Paris, the Arc de Triomphe, which was built by Napoleon. The entrance to the gateway of India is well guarded because of the terrorist attacks that happened around here all these years. Everyone needs to queue up here to enter the gate and they will do a thorough security check. There is a massive statue of Chhatrapati Shivaji who had that most courage to stand against the Mughal rule. Now we see the world famous architecture marvel Hotel Taj. It's still standing as more reliable and magnificent as ever, even after the terrorist attack. And there is the magnificently carved 85 feet, the 96 year old heritage of India, overlooking the Arabian Sea. I'm thinking back to the day when Her Highness Queen Mary entered India through this official gate of India. I was surprised to hear that it was a dummy card boy when the British entered this gate in 1911. And the structure was completed only in 1924. And it was so beautiful to hear that the last of the British ships did leave India from here when the British rule entered in 1947. Its decorations have done in the Hindu style. The architectural details are genuinely splendid. European designs mixed up with some Gujarati and Muslim architecture. Let's read the inscription on it. Erected to commemorate the landing in India of their Imperial Majesties King George V and Queen Mary on the 2nd of December, MCMXI. That's a Roman numerals for 1911. Those letters would remain for the generations to come and for me to rediscover the real gateway of India in 2020. Pigeons are the other main attraction here. They literally occupied their space. I was wondering why so many pigeons have gathered at that tree. The skates are having the joy of chasing pigeons. They are running right into the flock to see the pigeons take off in all the directions. Not only kids, everybody seems to enjoy it.
These are feral pigeons or city pigeons. They hang out with people without fear. I think they flock here a lot because people feed them on purpose. Also, they have abundant breeding areas here. There are grains scattered all over from the feeding. I heard some people are doing it something like an offering for a good fortune. These tourists like to take pictures of these birds eating out of their hands with either the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel or the Gateway of India in the background. Even though people say pigeons are disease carriers, I'm happy to see them because this means some birds are surviving electromagnetic like wars, air pollution and the urban environment where the trees are disappearing but as we know sparrows, miners and many other birds have given up a long ago. Hmm, I would say this place is for you if you like crowds and pigeons. There are many photographers with instant print cameras offering to take your creative photos here in exchange for a few rupees. See, the sun is strong right now but my spirit is still up. There is something magical about this place, maybe because of its connection to Bollywood. This place attracts hordes of locals as well as international tourists. I know it's a very hangout spot for many people. I see mostly Indians here today, only a smattering of Western faces. That's an hour long ferry or boat ride to an island called Elephanda Island. The island has many cave temples which is dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva. This ferry ride would give you an experience that might have happened many years ago for the British when they came in. That was interesting for me to imagine. You can enter Mumbai through the Arabian Sea just as the British did. I was confused by Gateway of Mumbai with the India Gate in Delhi before I see it today. They are indeed very similar in many aspects though.
I was writing to get to Mumbai for many years and that has been fulfilled today. So many thoughts are crossing my mind while I'm here. From the history of the gate to pigeons and the unfortunate attacks at Taj. I'm walking back to Kalaba Causeway and exploring the old heritage buildings of India. Interesting would be the word I used to mention Mumbai.